Facebook world. How we doing? I got a little something for you today. I uh, wanted to talk to you guys. Actually, you probably can't hear me. Hold on. Let me put on my headphones so you can hear me. All right, you can probably hear me now. So, uh, how are you doing? Happy New Year. Haven't seen you in a while, my friend. Hope you're well. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're uh, doing the best you can, given um, the times that we're in. And, uh, you know, one of the things that I've been taking a look at is resistance and where I resist right where do i hit the wall where do i create resistance in my life and there is the story of this uh this young uh, i guess you can call him a young student who was in search of wisdom and um you know, one of the things that his master told him is that he must, uh, he must swim. He must, he must swim to, toward enlightenment. And when he, um, when he said he must swim toward enlightenment, what he meant um, was that he had to, um, I guess, in this context, he had to reach enlightenment, right? Not swim, he had to reach, in, the goal was enlightenment. And so the student decided that he was going to get in the river and swim upstream. And so the whole time the student is swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. And uh, what he was doing, he was swimming against the current. And so um, exhausted, and fed up and just feeling dejected he said he got out of the, you know the, the the river and he walks over to the master and he says you know i thought that you said that i was supposed to you know if i swam upstream i was going to reach enlightenment and you know the master turns to him and says enlightenment isn't um you know, enlightenment isn't reached by resisting. Enlightenment is reached by going with the flow, going with the flow. So uh, when we are in life and we're faced with difficult situations, challenges, new opportunities, relationships, all kinds of things, the tendency is to resist. The tendency is to fight back, right? The fight or flight. Um, the tendency is to try to um, go against that, to try to be willful and force our way through something, right? There's a wall right here. I'm going to go through the wall, right? That's what we think. Um, that we're, we're doing ourselves a, a service. We're doing ourselves a service by pushing through. But really, in actuality, as you can see in the example with this story, we're actually doing ourselves a disservice um, because what we're actually indeed, what we're doing is we're creating more pain, more suffering, more anger, more anxiety, more frustration, more hurt, more whatever you want to call it, right? And so the theme here is where do you resist in your life where is it that you are not surrendering not giving in to um, the things that are there right the things that just are right you can't change the fact that you lost your job you can't change the fact that she walked out or he walked out you can't change uh, what is Right, so the only alternative is to fight it or accept what is right. So this this idea of uh, we call it surrendering, right? And 
um, in this philosophy sense, right? Surrendering, and not surrendering, waving the flag, but surrendering to what is um, and being at peace with what is. And now the funny thing that happens when you do this is it's actually really interesting, right? Because whenever you stop re resisting and you just accept what is, an interesting thing happens and you find this like this like peace you find yourself um, in the situation where you are you're just you you're just there right and then once you make the determination that this is just what is and there's nothing that you can do to force your way out of it, another funny thing happens. And that is, is that it ceases to have as much of an impact on you, right? The impact of what that event was diminishes over time, right? It's, it, it's, it ceases to have an impact, right? So you're less frustrated, you're less angry, you're less unhappy, you're less sad, you're less whatever because you've accepted what is. I think of a great example of this in my, in my life when um, it was probably four years ago now and I just, I was broke. I was failing miserably in my business and, and I was living in Mexico at the time hoping and praying that I could take this business to the next level and I was bootstrapping in another country and I was trying so hard so hard so hard I was resisting what was right what was you know what was the fact was that this wasn't a good product it wasn't a good service nobody wanted to buy it nobody was interested in it but I kept trying to force and force and force and force and be willful and Say, I'm going to make it happen, damn it. Come hell or high water. <laughs> and as I forced and forced and forced and forced, I, I just kind of kept digging myself in a deeper hole, deeper hole, deeper hole, deeper hole, deeper hole. Until one day, I surrendered to what was. I said, this business isn't the business that I'm supposed to be building. I surrender that that is just what it is. It's not that I'm a bad person. doesn't mean I'm a crappy entrepreneur. It doesn't mean that I'm not a go-getter and I can't make stuff happen. It just means that this isn't working. So when I surrendered to that situation, um, I was able to move beyond. Right? I was able to get all my stuff together, fly back home, and rebuild again, right? But that situation that I was in at the time, I thought I, I thought it was just, I thought I could force my way through it. I thought I could beat the resistance. I thought I can outsmart, outthink, outmaneuver, outhustle the resistance. And the thing about the resistance is, it never goes away. You can't beat the resistance. You can't. You can't win. It's a game you can't win. But surrendering to what is gives you the ability to actually rise above and move on, right? Because you just accept what is. So what does um, this mean, right? What is this? If you haven't picked it up by now, there's something in your life that you're resisting. There's something that somebody is trying to do for you. There's somebody that, uh, there's something that you keep fighting against. There's something that you keep pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. You keep pushing against the resistance. But the minute you decide that you're not going to resist anymore. The minute that you decide that you're just going to be at peace with what is, is when it all shifts, bam, like that. It just shifts. And why it shifts is because 
You have come to terms. You have said, hey, this is just what is. I can't control it. I'm not a bad person. I'm not a screw up. I'm not a loser. It has, it has nothing to do with who you are as a person. It has everything to do with you surrendering, right? And then, then the moment, in that moment when you decide to surrender and you say, look, this is just what is, I can't change it. This is, this, it's not, it doesn't mean that I'm a bad person. Then you, you're at peace and you can move on. So I, I thought of a little exercise that I could give to you today just to um, kind of help you look at this. And, and it's, it's really helped me. And um, I'm just going to get my phone here and share with you. Um, write down one thing that you resist and five, three to five reasons why you resist. So is it somebody in your life? Is it um, your work? Is it uh, your business or a part of your business? Is it something that you don't have to do that you don't like doing? Taking out the trash? Is it um, picking up the phone and calling someone? So write that down. With a pen. Take it. Write it down. And then think about three to five reasons why you resist or why you're in resistance to that. It could be you don't like it. It could be it doesn't make you money. It could be that you just feel like it's not a good use of your time. There's a lot of multitude of reasons. And then when you write those things down, relinquish, let go, and say, I surrender. I surrender to what is. I surrender to this situation. I surrender to whatever it is that is to come. And that, my friends, is when you'll notice a dramatic difference, a shift almost immediately will happen is that the thing that you resisted will no longer have power over you. Now that is a gem for you today. So happy for you. I'm glad you made it into this new year. It's a special time to be here. It's a special time to be alive despite all what you see going on around you. Remember that you don't have to resist. You just have to surrender. Be well, my friend.